where are we again? I told you, Eric, an old friend of Dad's. We'll be safe here. I don't think there's anyone home, Ryan. And we've been waiting here for hours. Shut up for eight minutes. I've got an idea. <laughs> Bloody hell. I was going to jimmy the door open with it, but it slipped out of my hands. Who? All right, let him in. Who's a prawn? This geezer reckons he's got some dirt on your wife's murder. For the right price, of course, Mr. Vincenzo. Is the price a handful of peanut M&Ms? You, sir, have just doubled what I was asking, so I'll throw in a little bonus fact about my auntie Brenda. Go on. What do you know about my wife? Well, I'd failed to pick up that night, so I was aggressively masturbating between the bins at the back of the club. Suddenly, I saw your wife stumble onto the street with one of the Fitzpatrick brothers. The, the small one looks like a shriveled testicle wearing a Chinaman's hat. Eric! I watched them go at it for a while, and by the time I climaxed, he was all over her like... Well, you kept masturbating the whole time. Disgraceful! Find those mollusks and get me the unsegmented asses on a plate! And get this pervert out of my office! Oh, wait, I haven't told you about my auntie Brenda's hysterectomy! She didn't actually need one! The doctor said she was fine! Wow. Last time I saw you two, Eric was the size of a plankton's prostate. Uh, sorry about the blood nose, by the way. Don't mention it. Ah, to be fair, we did ambush you in your own home. Ah, your father would have done the same. So, it's okay if we stay with you for a while, Eastie? You certainly are up shit creek, boys. Won't be long before they trace you back to this crap hole. Your father and I used to lay low here when we were doing hits for Vinny in the late 70s. <laughs> Ah, back then you could glass a guy with a vase and he'd take it like a man. At right angles. And in the face. Mm. The Bermuda Triangle, they'd call us. Me, your father, and Fergal the Sea Cucumber. Ah, great days. Of course, it all went tits up in 84. Someone tipped off the O'Leary brothers and your old man took one for the team. Right in the pancreas. As he lay there, in my multiple arms, profusely bleeding to death, I decided that was it for me. I told Vinny to go fuck himself, moved up here and started making introspective art installations from rusty car parts. Jesus. Well, what happened to Fergal? Fergal? Blew a fuse and skipped town. Far away from here. Last time I saw him he was asphyxia wanking, drowning his sorrows in white Russians. And I'm not talking about the drink. Anyway, you boys must be as tired as a pair of Japanese wobbygongs. Think I've got a couple of crankshafts I can bend into the shape of a bed? Let me see, what have I got here? Eastie! Motherfucker! Long time no see, still missing a tentacle. Still missing a testicle? Cut the bollocks, you boneless wanker. Hand them over. If you so much as touch those two, I will split you open, turn you into crab bisque, and feed you to your fucking family! Are you threatening me, you slimy sack of sh- ah! Run, boys! Run! Ah, it stings me eyes! Oh, fucking duck! It feels like a blue bottle took a dump on my iris!